What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for November 27th, 2021. We're in our Black Friday week, but we have some really awesome information coming to the Tap Tap test servers very soon, it sounds like. We have a brand new game mode for your guild called Star Expedition. Now this will be a lot like Expedition in other games you've seen, but it it does seem like it's unique in certain ways as well. It does sound like a fun game mode. I hope it's not too time intensive. I hope it's like it's you can do as much as you want if you're one that really wants to just go all in on the game and just, you know, easily smashable for regular people. But the graphics that we see so far are cool. It's void inspired. Basically, like your guild has to fight off the void itself. So that's cool, and it looks like you're going to be getting some Celestial Island resources on top of that. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let's jump into it and see what's going on. Okay, so the new guild gameplay will be called Star Expedition. Everything will be leveled up to max for everybody. So this is a kind of a game mode where everybody can appreciate it sounds like. Everybody gets full leveled heroes. So even if you only have like 10 stars, they will be full level 350 E5 heroes. They get full guild tech and hero blessings will be a bonus that you can get from combat. So that's really cool that no matter what your heroes are, as long as they're at least uh, a 10 star, I think, they will be maximized out to a full E5 hero, which is really cool. There's a new blessing system and star printing system to help you on your way. Fight against the void enemies with all the members of your guild will be first launched on the Android tap tap test servers first. So those are the test servers that get everything way before us. The guild territory was eroded by the power of the void and an evil door was opened. Now we need the power of everyone from the entire guild launch on an expedition to a distant star field. The opening hours of Star Expedition will be every Tuesday to Sunday of the week, one week interval every season. So it sounds like it's one week on, one week off is what it sounds like. And it's interesting. It's a Tuesday to Sunday type thing. So yeah, interesting. Uh, all right. So this is the Expedition map that I've had up here for you guys to see. In the Starfield Expedition mode, the map is divided into eight plates, which are the seven war zones that were infested and the ultimate final boss at the center, the Disaster of the Abyss. Players are required to go to each battle zone in turn for purification tasks and work together to attack the boss. So kind of cool. If you, it may reminds me of the new... Um, Celestial Island Expeditions, right? The different like map places you can go to, but that's pretty cool. Uh, the big old boss, the Cthulhu boss right in the middle. Very, very thematic, so that's kind of cool. Next up, we have the War Zones. So this is an example of what one of the War Zones will look like. You have basic enemy nodes, you have elite enemy nodes, and I guess these are like the boss nodes right here. It does say players need to be purified in turn. Or enemy nodes need to be purified in turn. So I don't know if you like, we all start over here on the far right side and you have to like work your way around. I imagine the blue ones are more difficult, purple even more, and then the red, extremely difficult. So that's very, very interesting. We'll come back to this. We got the typical void type monsters here. Looks really cool. I love the art style of this compared to a lot of other games. Okay, that's just Cthulhu. <laughs> the Abyss Disaster. Guild members will challenge together the ultimate boss. Disaster of the Abyss has additional powerful characteristics, which can be passed with different blessings and seals. This will test the player's lineup and strategy. So, yeah, it sounds like you'll be able to get different types of buffs called blessings and seals, and that will help you maybe knock out some of the... I'm, I'm thinking these in the arc up here are like buffs. But it looks like you can put your top three powerful hero or teams from your guild. So these are these are not heroes. These are entire player accounts that are going to be going up. One, two, and three. Either that or this is the ranking board. Everybody fights them. And the top ones get like shown on like a leaderboard. It's interesting. They don't go into too much information. But there is some other stuff we do have to go over here. These icons are going to be very small, so I do apologize. Just, just look at my pretty face. This is the promotion. So before the battle begins, 12 heroes can be selected from each count. 
to be promoted 10 stars or more all the way up to e4 will have their levels raised to raised to 350 their empowerment raised to e5 their orange six star corresponding gear will be equipped so i think that means like the class set but not resonance gear all the monsters on the account will be full level full skilled and available for anybody to pick in the progress of the time and space hero imprints are retained so the one thing you don't get is void imprints but if you do have void imprints those will translate into this mode so it does it's nice because people who are very early game they might just have like an account of 10 star heroes <laughs> like besides their main e5 they can actually use them as an e5 hero in this mode which is really really cool those greater to or equal than e5 the level is raised to 350 so i guess that means if for some reason you don't have death 100 done they still get bumped up to 350 the empowerment is raised to e5 the mark is full i don't know if the mark is full and the orange six star corresponding class set will be equipped and all full level and full skilled beasts are available for selection i think when they say beasts, they mean our monster so that's really cool i really like that idea that anybody can jump in here and kind of do this so next up are the oh it didn't translate it um i think these are seals yeah these are star seals right here a special equipment obtained in the war zone can affect the entire team when wearing one the star seal is obtained by killing monsters each time you complete the kill it will be randomly dropped choose one of three star seals so this is like a lot of games it gives you like the three options kind of like in void realms gate where like you go to the nodes that give you the cards that buff your team you can pick one of three i think it'll be similar to that star or star seal imprinting effects are divided into basic effects and suit effects wearing star prints will provide the team with powerful numerical bonuses or extra special skills so they're either going to be like flat stat buffs like increase attack or increase armor or increase something like that damage reduction or it might make them have an additional ability so that's kind of cool after that we have the star blessing so those were star seals these are star blessings a type of shared or a type shared by all guild members powerful skills to go against the boss each of the seven different zones, uh, more than including 10 people completing the purification, will trigger one exclusive blessing effect. If a single person clears the level, only one point of purification will be contributed. The triggered blessing will be with other guild members and shared. So it sounds like these, the star blessings, are ones that everybody gets, no matter who kills it, or so to speak. So... That's kind of interesting. We'll uh, we'll jump back so you guys can take a look at some other stuff here, like the map, while we talk about the very last part here, which is the tasks and ranking. So, the Star Expeditions gameplay sets a separate task list, and you can get uh, homestead materials, which I think is translated into the Cloud Island resources, a variety of resources, including, and then of course they didn't put the actual list of what you can get, so that's interesting. But yeah, you're gonna be getting like the rock, the stone, the hard rock, all those fun things, the toolboxes. Uh, looks like there's going to be a task list that you can complete, and then there's gonna be a ranking among all guilds. I imagine whoever does the most points or gets the most points will get additional resources. At the same time, there will also be settings in the new gameplay. Uh, the guild's total points ranking, the guild's personal points ranking, and at the end of the season will be issued based on the guild's total points ranking, including Celestial Island resources, a variety of game resources, and others. So, is this looking pretty cool? I think this is a really cool addition here. Something that everybody gets to participate in. Again, I think this is like more of like a leaderboard, but I don't know. We'll have to wait till it hits the test server. We'll have to jump in there. I'm going to have to join a guild and get at least one 10 star to see what it's like. Maybe I can still find someone that has access and let me get some access to a tap tap account this end game so we can see what it's like because this mode looks absolutely awesome. I think uh, these games is killing it with new content. I don't always agree with the new content like Star Arena. I don't like whatsoever. I'm hoping I like this one. I'm optimistic. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. If you have not done it just yet, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We're getting really close to our end of year goal of 65,000 subscribers. It's absolutely insane. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.